Hello Samiyas, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how we can read an Excel file in Java Selenium. Without any further ado, let us start the video. First, let us create Maven project. For that, you have to click on here. Click on other. Here, type Maven project. If it is already selected, click on next. So, uh, click on create a simple project. Click on next. Here, group ID you can give. I want to give Excel operations. I will give the artifact ID also the same. I will click on finish. So it will build my Maven project. As you can see on the screen, already my project is created. Now I want dependencies of Selenium, Apache, Power, and it for Excel. So for that, just go to Maven repository and copy this Apache Power common dependency and Apache Power. So in your pom.xml, copy this one. Okay. Control C. Go to a pom.xml. If dependencies tag is not there, create dependency tag. Dependencies. Okay. Now here click paste the stack, POA tag, and also the dependency of the dependency. Copy this. Paste it here. Okay. Just save it. You can see down it is building. 100% is done. You can give the indentation. Now here. In the main.java, I'll create one package. The package I'll write it as uh, com.excelOperations.readExcel. Here I'll create one class. So I'll write that class as readExcel.java. So now my class is created. Okay. So I want a main method. Fine. Now let us see the Excel which we are going to read. So this is the Excel which we are going to read. I have username and password two columns and I have 19 rows including the headers. I want to read this in my in my selenium. Okay. So let us go here and let me create one folder. Right click new folder. You can write the folder name as uh, data files. In the data files you can copy that. So go to the project right click refresh. So I've copied that. You can see Excel as file is here. Okay, so now let us start the program. So Excel reading is very simple, guys. So first I need an Excel path. Okay, so first I need an Excel path. So I'll write uh, string Excel path equal to. I'll copy this. Okay, so here we have to give double slash. This is the absolute path. You can give the normal path also by giving dot double slash. But this is the exact complete path I'm giving here. So this is my Excel path. Now I'll be using file input stream equal to. So I'll write, uh, I'll take a variable input stream. So I want to create one stream here. Excel path. Okay. So let us go to final input stream. Let us see the suggestions. What it does? So Java.io. That's it. Uh, throw some exception. Fine. So now let us create uh, all XSF workbook. So I want to take wb as my variable new ssf workbook of this input stream. Okay. So now let us import a library for this also. Just hover it. So here you can see ssf workbook and this also throws an exception. So all the classes which we get is from this xssf user model. So I'll put here dot star. So that whatever we have the workbook, excessive uh, uh, sheet, etc. will be taken care by this. So XSSF uh, sheet, sheet equal to workbook dot. You can take uh, get sheet of string name you can give or I'll just, just take a sheet. Get sheet at index, uh, index will be the zero, which will be basically the first sheet. Okay. So now. So let us take a loop int rows equal to sheet dot get last row. So this will get the count of the rows. Okay. Now let us take the count of the columns. Int column count. 
uh, maybe i can write row count okay so column count what will do view uh, in java it is different uh, in vb script we can get directly column count but here we have to take from row so i'll write sheet dot get row get row of one will take dot get last cell number okay so now let us write a loop for so this will be our i loop i equal to 0 i less than equal to row count i plus plus so this will iterate the entire row okay so now here we have to get the specific row for the column so xsf row of row equal to sheet dot get row of i yes correct so i want the so i want the rows to be iterated each and every time okay so now let us take another for loop which is j j equal to zero j less than so column count so case sensitive c capital and j plus plus so let us declare int j okay so here so xsf cell of cell equal to row dot get cell of j so now here we got the cell value directly we can type the cell value if you want you can see see here system dot out dot printl and we can type the cell value i have to right click run as java application so we got all the values see here from username password everything so for me so this is basically all the cells right so one more uh, thing we can add here okay uh, let us add let us add some integer value okay so maybe the salary of that particular user something like that okay let me add one what do one dollar something like that. so i want the series uh fill series okay something like that so basically if it is string just type a string if it is a number type a number so we can take like that okay let me save this i can comment this or maybe i don't want to comment this okay so i can take a switch case here so i want the cell dot i want the cell dot get cell type so what what it does it will give you the type okay whether it is string whether it is numeric whether it is something else okay so i'll write two cases here case string equal to system dot out out dot print ln so if it is a cell if it is string i want to type cell dot get string cell value okay so i want to break that up so if it is a number let us only add two cases okay if it is a numeric then i can type just dot get numeric cell value okay let us let us follow the indentation run as uh, java application so i don't want ln here okay so run as java application yeah we typed exactly how we wanted hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye